<clears throat> Hello everybody and um, welcome back to Western Australia but this time we're on the 16 times map and it's absolutely ginormous um, so we own oh, saving already <laughs> we own absolutely everything because you can't sell any of the uh, any of the fields because it's just one big one big land so yeah we own everything um got a um, harvest already that's uh well it's not on the go but it will be i need to go up there and continue the worker uh that's over on field five um field seven I have harvested and um, but you can see there it's been planted and I've put cotton in there um, and field 6 has been harvested and ploughed and lined because um, I've just been testing it all out you see, so, to see how it all works <clears throat> and well you can see I've uh, cut out a little staging area in my fields here for the mother bean and the logs and that sort of stuff. Um, I've only done it, uh, I've only done what, worked on three fields so far. I mean, we've got lots and lots of fields here that need work on. Got the uh, truck over there that's got the, um, the, uh, the, the, Beans there, uh, they're they're called um, what are they called now? Um, belly dumps. That's the ones. Belly dumps. They're called. Uh, got two of them on the go there. Uh, they're picking up um, the wheat from uh, the silo that's being bought from the field by two different trucks. Um, but I'll show I'll show you all that anyway when I get up there going to set these two up um i have of course it should be it should be set uh first course i'm going to put soybeans in this field i don't think they would usually grow soybeans in australia but yeah it's uh it's a money crop so why not right that's uh these fertilizers be activated because we don't have any help i've got to add the fill type seed otherwise it won't fill it up um so what i'm doing is over here uh here i've put um the seed and fertilizer tanks there well the buy points here um because in the four times version I, if you remember i had it at the um at the shop um but i haven't found anywhere to fit that yet well not down by the shop anyway so we'll have it up there and i might put some of these little little things by the fields like i did in um in little norton right so we want him on the left yes okay now I've set this to two headlands I think yeah two headlands for um that's okay just make double checking making sure these are okay so we've got auto drive now what auto drive will do um it'll go to field six exit which is show you on the map it's but well, you can't actually see it's too far away but it's here it's over here somewhere um and the reason i put it up there is because i do have um a point at field six at the entry down here but when <clears throat> when the um the auger wagons were getting full and coming back to the mother bin they were going through the yard here which was a bit ridiculous 
Um, so I put an exit point in the middle of the field there to, so for when they're over in this area. Right, uh, and then they go to the lime and seed and fill station, which is there. So you have to make sure that you've got this. Uh, that's that will be set by uh, to don't use by default, but you think that to use uh, for unload and refill. And then once it gets empty, it'll drive off the field, drive around the course that I've set up to here, and then it'll come back to the field and start off again. Right, so uh, turn this on first. Lower it down and drop yours. It's a little bit before the beginning, but that's how it can. Make sure this one's set the same. But this one needs to be on the right. See the bird get one load. It's okay. Now I've, I've given it um, a convoy length of 150 meters because yeah they can get stuck on each other. Um, which the combines in the other field that I've been doing um, have been actually been getting stuck. Which has been a bit of a pain. Oops. It'll work, make sure that's set to soybeans, yes, turn on, lower down, and dry. Oh, set the field seven, set the field six. There we go. Go to my uh, to the big field now because well there's a big job going gonna be going on in the uh, field today in field seven uh field five sorry um there's the rest of the harvesting there's three harvesters up there um with three Volga wagons um and there's two trucks that are bringing the, um, the grain, which is wheat, I think, if I remember rightly. Um, but they're bringing the grain back to the silo, and then when it gets full, the so uh, that um, white truck there takes them to the cell point. Um, but also, because um, the, the field is well, I would say pretty much done, but it's not because it's still got, um, I think it's about four more hours still to go. Um, and that's with three harvesters. According to GP, uh, GPS, um, course play, it says it has about four hours and something left. So we've got that going. Well, we will have. Um, and. I've had to keep on filling them up with fuel. That's why I've got this uh, this thing on the back of here. So up here we've got the um, three combines, the three auger wagons, two trucks, and we also have three balers and two auto load trailers that are going to be picking up the bales and selling them. Hopefully. Ooh. Yeah, this thing goes too fast. <clears throat> but yeah, there's the uh, the staging area for this. I made it a little bit bigger on this um, on this one. Right. So let's start with this one first. What? What was that? Yeah. What? <laughs> Don't point that guy up. Right. See now he's going uh, from brain brain collect field five, which is the pipe here. And it's taken to the silo, and then it just comes back. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And 
and the same, it'll be the same with this one as well. But they'll probably drive off soon as I kick start. There's the bailies, they're ready to go. They're, I haven't started them off yet. Yes, he's gonna go, so let's send him to the silo because he's like almost full in. And there we've got the two auto load trailers there. Now, I did try to use uh, this on a truck. I did try to use this on a truck, um, but it wouldn't work with horseplay with the new bale collection mode, which is what we're going to be using. Oh, my car's in the way. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so, I bought two of those, um, the small auto load trailers. I say small, they are 24 bales each. Um, and what I did, um, I hooked them together first um, to try and sell them, but that wouldn't work. Um, I, I tried it on uh, a test. Um, a test course and it didn't sell them so um, I ended up having to buy a, se a separate um, uh, tractor for each one I mean it's okay we're making plenty of money and all this money that I have here I haven't cheated any of it here because you know you just make so much money <clears throat> let's go up there um, I mean you can see how big this field is this um, the combines did have a bit of an issue um, on this area here um, because when I did the course <clears throat> I did the circle course and each time it came down all went up because um, some of the lines go straight through there but you have to go around um, it would come down and then go round here and go down there but the um, combines at the back would sometimes catch up and uh, bump into uh, bump into each other so on that little section i had to just use one go uh what uh was it one or two combines yeah i think i took one of the combines off maybe two of them i can't remember until um it had come to the straights and then when it cut when it got to the straights i set the other ones off Ooh, excuse me Right, so let's set this one off. No special reason, it's just the closest one to us. So we'll wait there now for his uh, call from the combine. I mean, it's, it, it's not going perfectly smooth, but it's going pretty smooth. <clears throat> I might go and set the combines off first actually because um, I have noticed that with uh, see as soon as I turn this on uh, the course one of the uh, that truck will probably uh, that organ I always move already I was going to say it will wait until I've turned on but um it's probably because I'm actually in the combine now, but if I hadn't have got in the combine, he wouldn't go anywhere near it until I started the course. Uh, make sure that that should all be right. Okay, and these courses do take a little while to start up. to move <laughs> I mean they are supposed to wait for you but sometimes they don't 
and I don't know why but when I uh, if I go into cab now you'll see my steering wheel's gone really weird again so what I have to do is alt tab out and then alt tab back in um, it's fine I don't know why it does it pretty weird Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm going to have the same issue with this um, with this stretch here, with this little area up there. Right. Yeah, I don't know why I need to worry if I can get to that combine and start that one before he comes, because otherwise the the convoy distance won't work. And I have tried uh, using lanes when I've made the courses, but that doesn't seem to work too well. I don't know why. Just, uh, just doesn't. Because so I thought the idea of the lanes was to um, have it so that pipe was always on the outside of the fruit or something like that that's what i was uh, led to believe anyway but that doesn't seem to uh, be the case doesn't seem to work properly for me anyway unless i'm doing something wrong where's the other one Oh, there's a still in the middle of the floor. <laughs> so, these fields are so big it's hard to see the equipment on the floor in sometimes. And I have noticed that I do get some um, frame issues as well occasionally, but that's only because, uh, well, using so many pieces of equipment all at the same time the game probably can't keep up well as you can see look how many workers i've got on the go there um but one little trick i have found is if you type in uh frame frame rate limit fps like that type in 120 that usually helps a little. Oh, where's my car gone? I've lost my car now. Ooh, see? <laughs> That's because of all the. Uh... My car! Oh, there it is up there. Yeah, it's because of all the equipment that's being used. But like I say, you know, it, it doesn't happen all of the time. But I've found an easier way to make um, some course play courses as well. Because um, for the bale sales, um, I need to set it off on course play so they can automatically pick them up. Because um, auto drive doesn't do that. Um, but I do have auto drive courses that go down to the cell places anyway. So my solution for that was to just drive down the course and just start course by recording. I'll, sh I'll show you exactly what I mean. Because I have two different cell points um, for bail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set off both of the, um, the bale uh, trailers, one to one cell point and one to another, and make course by courses that way. Hey Graham, how you doing mate? Who's this brummy farmer guy? Oh, I don't know, never heard of him before.
But you know, when um, I asked you the other day um, about the auto load feature for the bile collection, you can actually do it. Who was that imposter last Monday claiming to be you? Oh, I had no idea, mate. <laughs> was he as good looking as me? Did he get more hits than I did? going to do here. Set that off to field 5. Exit. Oh, he ain't. Oh, that's okay then. That's okay. <clears throat> right, and this one I'm going to set to um let's do that one. You had issues with auto drive? No, I, I, I don't have any issues with it. Well, occasionally the auger wagons bump into each other, but you know. Um, I want this to go to uh, cell point, bio sale. I want it to go to there. Set up course to the restaurant and find the silo. Um, do you have to? Uh, is it a, a, a reversing silo, or is it like a, a straight drive a drive, a drive over? Do you know what I do? Is just go on to here. Uh, click on that. Click on ooh, start recording. And we want that to get where did that that channel? There we go, change now. Uh raving for just for uh just for seeing what auto drive is like. Yeah, but I mean is it, it the silo, is it um is it like one that you can just drive straight over or do you have to reverse into it to before you can enter? Right, pick that and you see it's making it. This is the auto drive course that I've already got, and it's making the course for me. Uh, oh, you mean to um, to pick up um, to pick up the grain? Is that what you mean to pick up the grain from the silo and sell it? So that's going to buy the sale, buy, buy all sales to pick up and sell. Ah, right, okay. Right, maybe you had it set on the wrong setting. I will show you in a second because I have one set up to do exactly that. Right, this one needs to go to. Field 5 exit. Can't find field 5. Can't reach field 5 exit. Why not? There it is. <clears throat> so, you know, I set up a loop, uh, had auto connect and enabled. Yeah, I don't have it connected at the end. Oh, I can't do. Can I not do two courses at the same time? Okay, better better not do that then. Just in case. Yeah, leave that there for now. But yeah, this other one is just uh, he, he's he's off he's off down the road now. 
Then we turn off auto drive. And you can see he's doing the course for me. But that's gonna it's gonna take a while for him to get down there. So what I'll do is I'll jump out here. And I'll run across here and show you. <clears throat> See, because what you have to do, you have to make sure that the silo um, can pick up the trailer. So wherever you put the waypoint, um, the Ooh, that's see look what see what it's doing. <laughs> that's because I've got so much equipment on the go all at the same time. It kills the frame sometimes. But yeah, you go into here and see. If I turn this on, you can see my stop point is here. But you have to make sure you have it set on pick up and delivery right and make sure that you have the right um right uh, the right crop that you want to sell um if you've only got a single trailer then just drive up to like wherever you're uh, like say this is this is the silo here your weight point needs to be past there because then once it gets to here it automatically detects the pipe and starts filling with this grain does that make any sense or well, probably not <laughs> sort of it's it's a little hard to work out at first but what you have to make sure as well you know like um you have a say you've got a loop here actually it might be better if i show you a, a, an actual loop that i have see because i had to change the route in and out of the yard here because i had the um i've got a tractor here i'll show you because you, you can't you can't actually see any of the routes when you're not uh in a in a vehicle but i mean it's not a problem it'd be good if you could do it when you was um out of the vehicle just so you could edit the courses if you needed to but yeah i have a loop here Right, this is this is this is a loop here. But what you have to make sure is if you st say if I wanted to start a course here, right? Say if I wanted to make another loop here. Now, if I start record to uh, start recording there, right? It's gonna put it's gonna come down and across. So you'd make the course there like that, and you'd start going around like that. But the um, the AI wouldn't be able to detect this turning, so you always need to make sure that um, let me delete them ones because they're no use. When when you're making a course from an existing one, oh wait, I've got to press stop recording. Um, that I just that all the time. Um, say if you want to start recording a course from this one here for instance right always make sure that you're in front of it like that so then once you press record it puts it in the front not back because otherwise you can have issues that way of them not being able to find the course and stuff uh, which one? Which one was? <laughs> oh, which loop? Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot out there. This there's a lot. This is because of the amount of courses I've got. See, because 
I've got the cord that comes in here and it used to go along here and go that way to the silo. Uh, hula hoops, yeah. But um, this cord that goes out back, if, if there was another vehicle here, they'd get stuck here. So um, they'd just stop. So what I've had to do now is make the cord so it goes round there and it goes all the way around the back. So there's only this way is the only way they come out. So they, uh, if he comes out from the silo here, he'll come up here and then he'll go around there and then he'll come up here and down there. It's a little more long winded, but you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, I suppose. It, it does work well. Uh, okay, I don't know why that, but that's quite like that. But that should be a little straighter than that. There we go. There we go. Let's tattle it. Uh, I'm sure there's an auto drive file available for the map you're playing. Uh, for this map, maybe not. Because this is the 16 times map. So there may be, but I don't know. And I think it said that the. Uh, oh, what is he doing? See, this happens sometimes with cosplay. Yeah, because uh, can you see there's a big strip along the field there? Uh, one of our ploughs went rogue and just decided to uh, to plough my field. Right, where's the other one? He seems to be doing all right. Yeah, this guy hasn't even done the first headland yet. Uh, all the grain from one field? Um, no. But I, I, what I do is I, I take it straight, it gets taken to the silo, and then um, as soon as it gets to the silo, it gets taken to be sold. Games frozen. <laughs> That's not a good start, is there we go. I think it might be the um the course that I made for this, if I'm honest, because um I made the turn I made the, the corners turns instead of um uh instead of having it smooth. But I think I think I might do the smooth in future. Uh, yeah, clever these brummies, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop freezing on me! <laughs> See, it's because I've got so many workers on the go at once. Ridiculous. Turn then, please. Yeah. Right, so start him up, lower him down, give him a bit of a head start. And then nearest and drive. But yeah, I think it's because I, I made the tur I, I made it turns instead of uh, having it as a smooth, um, a, a smooth um, corner. Because well, I wanted it to be, I wanted it to look decent, which you know, 
it keeps on ending up in different fields. And the convoy usually works well as well. So make, I'm just making sure that he actually does turn around and not ends up in the field again. See, because I've got um, turn on field enabled as well, so, you know. Yeah, say hi to Porsche for me. How's she doing? Yeah, I mean, last week I, I was really, really tired. I was, I was tired all the time. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it was so bad. I mean, I even fell asleep uh, one of the days last week while I was eating my dinner. I was eating my dinner and I fell asleep. I was so tired. Uh... She's going good. We are getting ready for a holiday. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Nice. Right. Where's... Uh... He's already there. Scotland. Oh, okay. Right. So once he gets to here, all you need to do is if you look at the thing, you can see the uh the, the cell point trigger is here so you close that click a unload point and then once it gets to the end of this uh once the the, the trailer gets the end of the trailer gets to this point it'll unload them so now we want to go back to field five uh, it's still recording leave it recording and press go and it, can, it carries on the course clever stuff eh in Vaness yeah that's where, is that, that's where you went last time isn't it And see the other cell point is over there so i'll have to send the other trailer down once that one's done i don't know why you can't do two at once oh you went to john o'groats last time oh okay okay um but yeah there's the mother bin there's the do you like these um do you like these belly dogs they're nice ain't they i've got matching trucks Matching colours. I like these. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Why not? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these two off now. Well, three, should I say? these courses should be already set in as well um, because when I did the course for um, the harvest I only dropped the swath on the rows and not on the headlands because well there's no point having it on the headland really uh, going to Gaia Spar Gaia Sparrow <laughs> oh Biosporin I was going to say is that a name of a place of Biosporin <laughs> oh dear right um, he's on the left make sure that's okay activated yes uh, see it's using the same thing as the harvester so we want uh, yeah nearest point because this is not first wave point so unfold turn it on lower it down and drive
make sure this one's set the same, which it should be. Now, 150, center, drive. And it, it'll wait until it's time for him to go because the uh, because of the convoy, I've set it a little a little further apart. Uh, that should be right. That should be active. There we go. Nearest point. And then he should prob he'll probably wait until he gets a little bit further up. Yes, yeah, so he's not even starting yet. Uh, hey Gizmo, how you doing mate? Yeah, the maestro returns. 25 meters good distance. Uh, not always, because when they get to the end of the field, um, sometimes they bump into each other and stuff, so it's not always good. And with the harvesters, um, I have to have them like 200 meters apart otherwise they just keep on banging to each other right let's oh not that way that way he's still going yeah look at that for a field of cotton massive isn't it? I'm going to use the um, <clears throat> the John Deere um, cotton harvester on that. Uh, this looks better than you think. Looks better than I think. Uh, well, it, I do not think I will play a map this big. Well, I, I used to play Corn Belt a lot in um, 17. I loved Corn Belt, and that was a 16 by map. Uh, hey Porsche, I was going to say Graham could have some fun with Spuds. <laughs> oh god, I would love to see him do this. Uh, oh, the automation. Yeah. I'm, um, on that field up there, where I've just set them to... Um, uh, three balers off. I have three harvesters, three auger wagons, two trucks shipping the uh, grain to the silo, um, and I'm going to be having. I'll, I'll have these two on there picking up the bales as well. Uh, yeah, I, I think. <laughs> it, he would absolutely be insane if he did this with spuds. I mean, have you saw the size of the fields? I mean, look at the size of these fields. They're absolutely humongous. Ah, uh, this is Graham we're talking about. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, he is insane, and he's, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, Gizmo, I'm even using auto drive to make the course play courses for me for selling the bales. Yeah, that does happen some. Oh, excuse me. That does happen sometimes, the traffic, it gets stuck in traffic, but it usually sorts itself out. The only thing is you have to make sure that you're in um, whichever vehicle you're sending off on your auto drive um, when it gets to the end, because you, you have to stop it before, when it gets to the, to the end. What do you mean, lazy? It's... Uh, See, that's the whole point of this map, is I'm trying to get it as automated as possible. So, 
basically all I have to do is like nothing <laughs> but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it like fully automated because the, you know it's just too much I mean I, I do have um, say I've got all the uh, the courses set up not that way yet but I have them set up um, going that way to various other fields and it does get a bit more laggy when you turn that on because there's so many dots <laughs> I'm busy doing nothing work yeah that's it yeah I'm busy doing nothing well you know the thing is the only thing about having a fully automated farm is you have to make sure that it's up and running <laughs> Yeah, farm manager, exactly, yeah. But the thing is, is um, you can't really just like put course play on this and then say, you know what, I'm going to go out for the day or something because it just ain't going to work. And see, press stop there. And then, see, that's reached its point. So, save that as... Uh, F5. Where did this go? Bail sales, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, bail sales. And then just drive him out the way. Because I need to send the other one off now to the other place. Actually, we can see we can see if this actually. Oh, this, look how many bales are on the ground already. Right. Oh, okay. So we'll set this up. We'll set this up to field five. Uh, start at collect and wrap bales. Uh, I don't think we have to change anything else. Uh, Avoid true, yeah, why not? Okay, see, and he'll just go off now and he'll pick up them bales using the auto load trailer and um, he'll go and sell them. Watch the, the whole of the last video and just your things worth the overall. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah it, it practice does make perfect mate and you know it's uh it's 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 getting there but i mean the um the last video was on the four times map but this now is the 16 times map Buds are plenty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you must be mad. Yeah, I must be mad if you put spuds on there. So I want to make sure that he's in the right place. I was sending there. He's starting already. Ah, he's crazy. Right, so start recording. And this one needs to go to uh, cotton bales. Drive and see. Just there, ready making making the course for me. I John Powers. You don't even have to be in the tractor. Great, isn't it? Actually, let's uh, let's fly up in the air and have a look. So we've got these balers on the go here. We've got the harvesters in all the way up there in the distance. You can't even see them. Oh, you leave for Friday uh, on Friday for Scotland. Oh, okay.
See, it, it, it does a good job. But um, I did try it, like I said, with two of these trailers um, attached to each other. But there was a problem with that. It, um, it got across half of the field um, and then it stopped. Um, and then when it got to the cell point, it only emptied the it only turned um, emptied the one trailer. It didn't empty the second one. Uh, going for Saturday Sunday. Uh, going for Saturday and Sunday. Come back on Monday night. Oh, okay. You got a question? Okay. Well, I will try and answer it if I can. <coughs> oh, let's just jump in this because I, I want to make sure it actually works. I have to. I have tested it. And it did seem to work on a different field, but auto load. How does it know to unload the cell point and not bring the barrels back? Because in course play, um, when you make the course, I I can't show you now, but. Um, one second, let me see if I can go into a different view. Oh, actually, I'll show you when when the other one gets to the cell point. I will show you because uh, when that one gets down there, because I've, I've got to set the, I've got to set it so it does the, exactly that. So I'll show you when it gets down there. <clears throat> Because it's gonna it's gonna get down there before this one. See, I don't know why. Well, or should I say I don't know how it picks which bales to go for. It just seems to be going for random ones and leaving these around. But if you notice, it's detected that there's bales in the field and it actually goes round them. Um, but. Be warned though, if you are going to try and do this, don't use the big lizard lizard uh, trailer, this one, because it doesn't work. It doesn't, uh, you can't set it to, um, to bile collector mode. Horse play is going around them, uh, not through them. <laughs> No, it's it, it 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 goes it detects that they're in the field, so it goes round them, and I think it's pretty clever. It's it's getting more and more intelligence every time uh, course plays. And there's one other thing that I found out the other day. Uh, I've been using course play for uh, for years now. All right, and I did not know that you could edit a course. Just as F, yeah, just as FS twenty two is on the horizon, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't know you could edit a course until the other day. I mean, look at the, look at these fields here. Look, they're, they're just like nuts. <laughs> Look. Oh, you knew that. I didn't know that. I seriously didn't know that. Think of the amount of potatoes you can have off that. Yeah. I dread to think. <laughs> You'd need about 15 harvesters on there. Well, on, on the field that I'm doing now, field five, right? 
for um for the harvester uh, the harvesters when it started it said it was going to take 10 and a half hours that was with three harvesters uh guess he's going to find out you're not really going to put potatoes on these fields are you? you must be mad you have got to be absolutely crazy oh, God. <laughs> i mean sugar beets probably wouldn't be so bad but you know potatoes the equipment is so small See now it now it's coming up to the uh, cell points. I can show you. Oh, you've got um, you got a modded um, harvester of you. Modded equipment. Double width, but double width. That's only what six meters, isn't it? So isn't the normal harvester like three meters or three and a half meters or something? The normal harvester is 12 meters. 12, really? Oh, normal is five. Yours, yours is 12. See, now that comes around there to the, so, to the cell point. And then that will stop. But see, the um, the cell point is only like uh, like part of it here. Now, to get it so it actually unloads and doesn't drive off, you just click on this icon here. See this icon where it says um, set unload point. You click that. And it puts this little uh, this little icon. Zoom in a little bit. Put that in there. But what you have to remember, right, is that will be the back of the trailer. So um, make sure that once you've driven through, and the back of this the back of the trailer gets to here that's what it'll unload so if you if you put it if you put it like at the end here at the, at the end of the trigger right the back of the trailer will be there so it might only unload two uh two of the bales not all of them so you have to make sure that the this tip uh tip trigger here is inside the um the cell point right and now we want him to go back to field by exit oh need to press stop then and drive and he'll just carry on on his merry way 